Tampa Bay Buccaneers wide receiver Antonio Brown has been accused by his former live-in chef of obtaining a fake COVID-19 vaccination card. According to a report from the Tampa Bay Times, Stephen Ruiz, the chef, claims he received a text message from Brown's girlfriend, Sydney Moreau, in early July that indicated Brown was willing to pay $500 for a forged Johnson & Johnson vaccination card. The Times was provided a screenshot of the alleged text message conversation between Ruiz and Moreau. Ruiz stated that Brown had told people around him that he was worried about negative effects from the vaccine on his body. Brown's attorney, Sean Burston, issued a statement denying the allegations. Be like Antonio Brown and get the vaccine, Burston said, per the Buccaneers also issued a statement addressing the issue. CBS Sports NFL insider Josina Anderson reported that there is a feeling within the Buccaneers that the allegation is financially motivated. This whole thing is about getting paid a source told Anderson. No evidence. According to the Times, Ruiz said he spoke about this issue now because he is owed $10, oh 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 by the receiver, which he has been unable to obtain after settlement negotiations with Brown's lawyers were unproductive. Brown, who has been out since week six with a foot injury, did not respond to a request from the Times for comment, and the team did not make him available either, per the report. If Brown is found to have forged a COVID-19 vaccination card, there will almost surely be serious consequences personally, professionally, and financially. The Green Bay Packers and Darren Rodgers were each fined after Rodgers was found to have violated the league's COVID-19 protocols, and the same would presumably be true for Brown and the Bucks. In October, the NHL player Evander Kane was suspended for 21 games for falsifying a vaccination card.